Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here and doing another playtest session with budget blue red tokens. So new cards that we're adding here, we're going a couple Fiery Impulse main deck. We dropped the Ruination Guides and Disdainful Strokes from the main deck. And we also are going to try out Thopter Engineers. I had them in the original build, we're bringing them back now. Um, so I don't think Ruination Guides are necessary, probably. I think between Vile Aggregate, Ghostfire Blade, and our Powerhouse 4 drops, and I guess even Hanger Backwalkers, I think we're going to have enough ways to win. So I think Ruination Guide's probably unnecessary. I'd rather just get, like, blockers with, you know, reasonable toughness, like 3 and plus a flyer, something like that. Um, I, think this, I think this build might be an optimal one if, if this works well for us and I don't have to do too much tweaking with the, the main deck or sideboard. Ideally, we can uh, do a eight-man or a, a daily at some point. Hopefully soon, but well, I still want to, you know, I still want a little more experience with the deck. I think I just need to get more comfortable with it, get more comfortable with the sideboarding. But also added two fiery impulse to the sideboard. We dropped the impact trimmers, and now we have four disdainful strokes out of sideboard. I still think disdainful stroke is very good against the Abzan deck. Being able to stop Siege Rhino, but more importantly, the the stupid rock. That rock is so good. It's just really one of those cards that our deck is going to have. A super hard time beating. So Wingmate Rock and Sea Rhino are definitely cards that our deck would have a problem with. But I think not main decking this the Disdainful Stroke is probably wise because there is enough red deck, um, you know, whether it be Goblins or the Atarka Red, um, where I, just Disdainful Stroke is so dead in those matches that I think it's better to go for more of a, a spot removal base deck and then win through value because it always feels like when I die to red deck I have like five cards in my hand so if I can just survive I really think I have enough gas in the deck to outlast the red decks so um yeah here's the list we're gonna jam this do a few rounds with it see how we do we'll see you in round one all right we're in round one. We're on the draw. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep this hand. I know we don't have much going on. It's a lot of lands, but it still seems like I probably want to keep this hand. Just the fact that I've got, I don't know. I feel like I'm still staying busy. There's a lot of good things I could draw. I don't know. I think being on the draw makes that a little more keepable too, but that's certainly a debatable one. All right, looks like he's going to hit Ghost Fire Blade. That Duress is actually pretty pretty good against us. Sky Spawner's a great draw. All right, well, feeling better about that. So at least we get to go Sky Spawner into Pia and Kirin, which is actually kind of good. Arash and Foremost. Okay, a little Double Striker. We'll be blowing that up with Pia and Kieran Alar at some point, or just kill it right now. Yeah, I think we just go in full-fledged protection mode now. So let's not even let him untap, let's just kill it. Number two, you got it. Let's go Pia and Kirin. Take some damage. See if he kills Pia and Kirin. No kill. Well, that's pretty good then. Let's, uh, I think we just swing. All right.
Sure. So we'll kill his guy. We still end up getting pretty good value out of this. So I could have pre-combat played the Sky Spawner, but I feel like if I did that, he could have burned it in response, and then I wouldn't, because I wouldn't get the spawn token, so I wouldn't be able to protect uh, P and Kieran. This is still fine. Our opponent's got two cards in hand. We have a Foundry of the Consoles out, Sky Spawner, and Whirler Rogue. We're still in pretty good shape, actually. Seeker. It's basically just a warrior deck. Chief of the Edge. Sure thing. Not bad. So I could play a couple Sky Spawners. I'm trying to think if I like that. I don't know if I mind it. I'm just trying to think if I'd rather play a Whirler Rogue or two Sky Spawners. I guess the two Sky Spawners can technically block the... Yeah, I guess we'll play two Sky Spawners. So let's get in for one. Makes better use of the mana, too. Playing the Sky Spawners. So I don't think we're going to double block Seeker. Well, now I guess we are. Okay. We can beat Outpost Siege. I'm curious if he picks Dragons. No, he picks Khan, so he wants the extra card. This is fine. So, go like this. Get some dudes off the board. Play Whirler Rogue, get in, pass. So, setting up for Foundry of the Councils. Chief of the Edge. All right. I mean, we'll trade Whirly Rogue for a Chief. Still think we can beat this with our Foundry, I assume. All right. Taking this. No play. Time to bust this out. Ooh, dig through time is a real nasty draw here. Let's, uh, well, we don't actually want to swing first. I think we want to. Dig. Uh, okay. Guess we gotta sack that. Let's see what we dig to. Well, that's. Um, how much man? I've got, yeah, I've got enough to do all the goodies here, so just grab these two, play a rogue, blade, equip blade, and bash. Nomad Outpost, sure. All right. Got game one. 
against the Warriors. So, I guess a couple more impulses seem correct. Negate, stop, secure the waste, and outpost siege, but that doesn't seem all that important. Stainful Stroke's probably not important. Roast and Arc Lightning and Radiant Flames. Actually, Radiant Flames might be something we want here. Um, then have to make one cut. Probably cut a blade. Still be just fine. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I mean, we're keeping it. And we're going to play the Shivan Reef first, so potentially you can play that Fiery Impulse in turn two. Although, no, I guess if I draw a Hanger Backwalker, I definitely want to be able to play it like that. No plays from our opponents. That's curious. Got the third land. That's good news. So we're just going to swing and play the Sky Spawner. If opponent wants to board wipe, so be it. We've got enough gas where I'm not overly concerned about it. That's not a big deal either. Crackling Doom's actually not that good against us, I don't think. Okay. Well, we certainly have the answer for that. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. Kill that. Play Blade. Equip Thopter, not Sky Spawner, in case he's got another Crackling Doom. And get in for some nice damage. I'll post Siege. That's not going to be quick enough. We can even play a Whirler Rogue if we draw the land. Uh, guess we actually go Thopter Engineer because Hasty Creature. Could have done Sky Spawner too, I guess. But it doesn't seem that important. So, Board Wipe. We still have a Sky Spawner. If we draw a land, we got a Whirler Rogue. Painful Truths, something you can't even cast. So he's got a board wipe here. Like I said, even if he does, we've got the Sky Spawner. Okay. Killed himself with the Painful Truths. Got it. All right, well, beat a warrior deck. I think it's a pretty unconventional deck, though, so we will continue our playtesting.